Mr. President uh, Joe Biden is meeting Mr. President or Mr. Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Mr. Boris Johnson. Uh, these two men, they say or they claim they have a special relationship. Special relationship. So let's analyze that special relationship in between Biden and Johnson. In between the United Kingdom and the United States of America. Uh, let's begin this way. They both Yankees. Mr. Boris Johnson, he refused the United States of America citizenship. He was born in New York City, but now he's no longer one of us. Uh, Mr. Biden, he claims that he's an Irish American. Irish American. That's what he claims. So that is a discrepancy. They have not any, in any way, shape, or form, a unity of whatsoever. As a matter of fact, they're looking at each other right now as enemies of one another. Because Mr. Boris Johnson supported, or oh, so he say, anyhow, uh, the uh, previous president, Mr. Trump. So let's continue with this. Uh, the United States of America and the United Kingdom, they fought, fought a war against each other in, in the 1700s. That today we call the United States of America War of Independence. So that means they were enemies from the beginning. Um, let's continue, let's continue. Uh, the United Kingdom uh, sale of the Potomac River and it burned our White House, our capital. The District of Columbia burned it to the ground. Uh, I don't know, but uh, that to me is not in a special relationship. That to me is a relationship in between enemies, what they do to one another. So let's continue. Uh, the, um, the United States of America throughout uh, its history have fought, have fought for its survival against the United Kingdom or the Kingdom of England. Um, they send the spies here to interfere, to, uh, uh, to interfere with our, uh, 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 our lives itself, with, with, uh, to interfere with our elections, to interfere with the, uh, the, with the territories of the United States of America. One example of that, they send spies into uh, the, uh, the Kingdom of Spain, the, uh, the territories of the Kingdom of Spain, uh, Florida, um, uh, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, and uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Nevada, all these territories of the, uh, of the Kingdom of, of Spain, they send spies to, uh, to, to basically mount attacks to the, in, into the United States against the United States of America. That is the reason the President Monroe uh, sent uh, General Jackson to, uh, to reclaim all these territories from, uh, from the Kingdom of Spain because the Kingdom of Spain did not, did not have the main power to, uh, to control, to control the situation because the English were fighting wars against them. Uh, so there you have it. That is another example of it. Now, today, today, let me tell you how special the relationship is. And let's not count World War II and World War I, where is exactly where we are right now. 
during World War I and World War II, by that time, they already have completely controlled the information. The United States of America information, that is. And the way they did it was very simple, very simple. The uh, English oligarchs forced its citizens to migrate, to, to leave their homeland because oppression from the English. So the United States of America, as a beautiful nation, young nation, invited all these population under, under threat to come to the United States of America for their freedom, the freedom of religion, the freedom of association, to be one of us. They invite the Irish, and they invite the Scots, and they invite the Welsh, and they invite all the United Kingdom's uh, subjects into the United States of America to protect them. And the United Kingdom utilized all this population with the language, with the English language, to condition them to be English. And that is why we enter World War I and we enter World War II on the side of the English. Uh, today we have the same, the same problem. We are, we are completely destabilizing the, uh, the, the American continent to benefit the, uh, the English oligarch. To to, uh, to completely benefit the, uh, the the division of this continent to benefit uh, the English, uh, if you will. Uh, the English have taken control completely of our information, and they are completely destroying us. So that is the relation, the special relationship that we have with the English. We are the subjects, they have kings and queens, and we can never ever can overcome that they have kings and queens. Because the kings and the queens of any nation represent their identity, their identity. And they will defend that identity, including Mr. Biden. They are completely conditioned. They identify themselves as English. And that is the special relationship that we have. But nothing is lost because you have me. You have people like me. They will never ever accept that we are English subjects and that we will look back at the origin at the origin of the United States of America of acceptance of all the subjects of the English we will accept them in the United States of America and protect them from oppression the same all the English subjects from the entire United Kingdom from Australia, from Pakistan, from India, from Hong Kong, from all the territories that the English have destroyed, from the Middle East, we have them shelter in the United States of America. So all we have to do and all I'm doing is remind them who they are, that they are no English, that they are one of us, part of an indivisible nation that we call it the United States of America, part of an indivisible continent that we call the American continent. So yes, we do have a special relationship with the English and that special relationship is basically death. Every time that we follow the English, we follow them to die. To die in World War I, to die in World War II, to die 
in Korea, to die in the United States of America revolution. That is our special relationship. So we need to remind Boris Johnson that he should not be leading the United Kingdom. That he should be leading the United States of America as one of us repudiating the calamities and the destruction of all these European oligarchs that send us to die every single time. So we need to have a, a truly a special relationship, not just with the United Kingdom, but with the entire planet. We need to start admitting new states into our union. We need to unite the American continent strong. We need to admit the world into the United States of America. And then we will have one great nation and we can solve many of our problems. At least we don't have to kill each other for competition of geography. We will be one geography. We will be planet Earth. The humans over planet Earth. So make sure that you, when you uh, look at these people, you look at them for what they are. When you look at Boris Johnson, look at him as a traitor of his people. That is exactly what they are. Every time they call you American, and they call you a color, and they call you letters, and they tell you that you are inferior, and they tell you they're going to give you and they're going to give you and the reality they're making you a slaves. Make sure that you tell them that. We are no slaves. We are no subjects. We are free people. Created by free people. Like George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Monroe, Harrison, Esteban Rodriguez Miro, Bernardo Conde de Galvez, Luis, Carlos. Saludos.